Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can change the search scope in OneDrive for Business. Uh, so let me navigate. This is actually my uh, you know, core company corporate internet. Let me navigate to OneDrive for Business to, to show you what I mean. So here's my OneDrive. Of course, OneDrive is your personal repository, right? Uh, by default, everything in your OneDrive is private unless you share it with others. Uh, but uh, how do I find, how do I search in uh, my OneDrive? Well, obviously we utilize this search box um, that appears in the top center of the uh, page. Uh, but Microsoft recently made an adjustment uh, where you can choose what it is that you're searching for. So um, let's say I'm searching for, you know, the uh, something with the word uh, budget in it, all right? So here we go. Now you have three different choices over here. Um, you know, you can choose between my files, all files, and whole organization. Let me explain to you the difference between the three. We'll start with my files. My files will only search OneDrive. So essentially what you have in your OneDrive. So let me click end right now. And here we go. It, it shows me it finds a few files. These are only results from my OneDrive. It doesn't search any SharePoint site. It just searches my OneDrive, nothing else. If I expand the search to all files, I will get a lot more results. Why? Because in addition to OneDrive, it also searches all the SharePoint sites uh, that I have access to. So team sites, communication sites, essentially all SharePoint sites in addition to OneDrive. So the results you will see will be uh, will be pretty much um, results from your personal, you know, OneDrive as well as uh, SharePoint site. The last choice is whole organization, and uh, might be a little bit confusing. What is what does it mean? What is the difference be between all files and whole organization? Let me explain. When you do this, it will search again. It will search OneDrive. It will search SharePoint, but it's not just going to search for files and folders. It will search for other types of content as well. If you notice, it actually brought us to uh, the SharePoint search results. And uh, if I had, and let's see, I probably don't have it, but if I had uh, maybe a page titled um, budget, if I had an item uh, titled you know, budget, then uh, it would find uh, those results as well, okay? I'm just trying to find uh, that particular result, I guess. I probably don't have any, um, all right. Uh, well, I guess I have a, a, you know, something else here, a site. Uh, let's see if I can demonstrate this to you. Um, yeah, I do find some additional results in addition to uh, files and folders, but the bottom line is this searches, this searches uh, not just, um, um, you know, your uh, files and folders, this searches pretty much uh, everything, pages, list items, etc. Let me actually demonstrate this to you again. Uh, I want to uh, type in this uh, keyword over here. So first I'm going to search all files. Here we go. All right, look at this, found a bunch of files uh, in my OneDrive and you know different SharePoint sites. But if I choose again, whole organization, I'm going to get a lot more results. And look at this, it actually found, uh, this happens to be an entry uh, an, an entry uh, on a custom list. Now look at this. It actually found that uh, because it matched a particular keyword. So the bottom line is when you choose, uh, when you choose, um, uh, you know, pretty much whole organization, uh, it searches not just the files and folders. It searches uh, pretty much uh, everything. Uh, and of course, um, and of course, right? You can also distinguish here between the different types as well. So if I just want to limit. Um, you know, the search results to files, that I can do it here. If I want to limit search to people or news, I can do it, uh, you know, here as well. Essentially, uh, for the uh, whole organization, it just literally brings you to the SharePoint search results. And again, it searches the whole thing. So um, a, a great feature, in my opinion, a great way, you know, for you to kind of uh, choose uh, the search scope, right? And sometimes you want to limit it to just one drive. Sometimes you want to limit it uh, to just files and folders. Sometimes you want, you know, to uh, to search for pretty much everything, uh, not just files and folders. And now you have, um, you know, the, the means to do so.
Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular episode. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.